HTTP status code 429 means too many requests. So that's kind of the universal rate limit signal. So when your automation sees that particular code, it has to pause and, and maybe retry. It's pretty much a, a red light traffic uh, specifically for API requests. Modern services return 429 instead of just a generic error. And response headers are going to contain rate limit intelligence sometimes, like X rate limit will show your maximum allowed requests. Uh, X rate limit remaining, we should tell you what's left in your quota. And the rate, rate limit uh, reset provides a timestamp for when your limits refresh. So those headers should let you track your usage without hitting the limits. And then there's a retry after headers. They are going to specify exact kind of wait times. If it says retry after 120, then you wait 120 seconds before trying again. So some services return this as an HTTP date instead of seconds as well. Your automation might need to pass and respect those instructions. Error response bodies often include human readable explanations. So Twitter is a good example. It might return like rate limit exceeded the sentence. Try again in 15 minutes. I think GitHub's API includes like documentation links in its error messages. So you just want to pass those messages to display helpful information in your automation logs rather than just generic like request failed errors.